Hello, we're here at Class 1 Equipment. Today is July 17th, 2015, and this is the proof of life video for ID 3981, which is an OAI Hybroline 200 aligner. So, here's the main panel of the system. We have our timer for our exposure, our timer settings, which we'll get into in a minute, for our exposure, our main power, this is our uh, current to the clutch for leveling the wafer, which we'll get into in a minute. Here is your mask vacuum to hold your mask onto your mask holder. Next is what we call our ball lock, which will lock our leveling, our wafer to the proper level. Uh, here is our substrate vacuum, which holds our wafer to the chuck. Next is if we're going to run contact vacuum, we have some adjustments for that to control the amount of vacuum. And we also have our nitrogen purge to release the vacuum when we're done with the system. So what we normally do is we turn the system on, we get our power light over our timer, our current should come up on our clutch, and now we can load a wafer. So we've got our mask already on here. If we didn't, uh, you would just load your, your mask in here, clamp it down with the vacuum, and uh, be all set. We're going to flip open the lid. Okay. We're going to now place our wafer onto the substrate holder. And we will turn on our substrate vacuum. Check. We got the vacuum. We can now lower down our mask. Okay. And now that is also held by pneumatics and vacuum to hold that in place. Okay, so what we would do at this point is we would level, what we'd want to level the wafer. So we'll make sure our ball back is unlocked and we will bring up our Z knob. This will raise up the chuck, the wafer, until we contact the mask. At that point, you'll feel slippage in your knob here, which is the clutch, which means we're up at the proper height. We will lock our ball back, which holds that angle, and now we can lower it down slightly, come off. Now we can move our microscope into place. We would then do our um, alignment of our wafer. We have X, Y, and theta. And if you needed to adjust the mask theta, you could loosen these screws and rotate the mask. Okay. So once we're happy with our alignment, okay, we can then move the microscope out of the way. We would bring, come back up. If we want to do contact, we can come back up to contact where our clutch slips. Uh, if we wanted to uh, do a little bit higher resolution, we could then also do a vacuum contact, uh, which we flip on these, the switch and we would get vacuum to suck the items together. Okay. We're not going to do a vacuum contact at this point. We do not have the seal in place. Um, so we will just do this. So we're up at contact. We are now going to move our wafer over to the exposed position. After it settles, it will then expose for the time we have set, which unfortunately right now is a very, very long time, so I'm just going to reset that. Uh, but I will show you that we do function properly. And then we move our wafer back over to the aligned position. If we had done a vacuum contact, we would run a purge. Okay, which would then purge all the vacuum out of that area. We would then lower our chuck down. And we can lift up our mask holder. Turn off of our substrate back. And I also like to turn off the ball back at the same time so we're ready for the next wafer. And there we go.
All right, thanks for watching. Once again, this is Class 1 Equipment's Proof of Life video for ID 3981, an OAI Hybraline 200 Mascaliner. Thank you very much.